Hi, I'm Krista. And I'm Brad. With the Big Family Homestead. And my kitchen's a mess. And you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> a lot making hay and working on equipment and sometimes stuff just piles up yeah literally piles literally up. <laughs> and uh well to to add to what mama's saying a lot of dirt a lot of stuff but but good days productive days even though that things have been breaking uh we've been working through those mechanical issues uh but you know sometimes you gotta just go i'll, I'll do the dishes later because it's really about priorities. However, there's something really special that did happen. And uh, yes, we, we have a teenager that is now driving heavy machinery. Bales left. Grace has been working super hard. We're very proud of her. I figure what better time than to teach her how to drive. Why not, right? Yeah, she's 16. 16? She needs to learn how to drive. That's right. So, we're going to show you and no papa wheelies today, okay? No papa wheelies. Okay, so what happens, we're going to push the clutch all the way around. Yeah. What do you think, Turbo? I like it. I like it. You like driving? Yeah. You ready for NASCAR? No. <laughs> All right, clear. Force gear. You ready? She says, nope. You stay on gear one. Yeah. That was fine. Let's keep going. Okay. Heads up, Hope. You guys having a good time? Yeah. All right. That was so much fun. Grace had such a blast. It was really cool getting to show her how to use the tractor. A little terrifying. Yeah, straight up terrifying. Yes. <laughs> However, I was on the good side because I was standing on the side filming. Yes. Or throwing bells of hay. Right. However, there's now switching gears. There's something going on in central Wisconsin that I think you need to be aware of. So will you guys check this out? Now, here in Wisconsin, uh, it's, it's hard enough to stay in business if you're a dairy farmer or, well, frankly, any kind of farmer. Uh, and so farms around here have been going to real interesting extremes in order to bring in new sources of income. And well, this is kind of a source of controversy around here. Just take a look at this. Giant marshmallow farms. Uh, uh, these things are popping up all around the state and I understand, I really do get it. It's hard to make a living doing farming and when you can harvest literally tens of thousands of marshmallows out of one tiny seed, that's a hard thing to say no to. But the concern is soil erosion. We're talking about the depletion of the nutrients in the soil. And frankly, I don't know. I think it's fast cash for long-term depletion. Not something I'm, I'm sure I'd trade off. I think it's a bunch of hooey, just a bunch to do with nothing. It could, it could honestly just be something that, that, that I, I completely made up. Yeah. And it was, yeah. Right. So anyway, 
Uh, last chance, guys, to get involved on the Thrive Life yes. uh, Back to School Sale. Yes, the Back to School Sale ends on the 12th, which is Monday. Um, yes, you're going to save a lot of money on those snacks that the kids are going to love to take to school. Um, they're great for toddlers. The blueberries are awesome. Toddlers love blueberries. Banana um, chip. The bananas are fantastic. Uh, all of this is out here. I don't know if they can see all that, but I'm getting ready to make Grace's food here in just a few minutes. So that's next on the plate. Yeah. Well, and we've got a big something, and we're going to tell you about it probably tomorrow. Yep. So with that, we've got to go get busy working on this big something. Yep. So I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.